How's it going everyone? Now before you start taking raspberry ketones to help boost your weight loss, you need to learn the side effects. You know, is it risky? Do you have anything to worry about? And how much should you take? I'm going to answer all of those questions in this quick video, okay? So raspberry ketones really exploded in popularity after being profiled and featured on the Dr. Oz show. He referred to the weight loss supplement as the number one miracle in a bottle to burn your fat. It's a pretty good compliment, I would say. So before getting into the side effects, here's a brief background on how they help you lose weight. The most important function of raspberry ketones is to increase your metabolism. They help increase adiponectin levels. This is an important hormone which can help you burn more fat all day long. Now overweight people naturally have less adiponectin than skinny people. So by increasing your adiponectin, your body starts to think it's skinny. This leads to your body increasing your metabolism and releasing stored fat. As Dr. Oz put it on his show, your body starts to think thin, which leads it to act thin and release fat. So what about side effects? I hear a lot of people asking about side effects. One of the best reasons to take raspberry ketones over other weight loss supplements is there are no known side effects. Zero, zilch, nada. In 1965, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration placed raspberry ketone on generally recognized as safe status indicating expert review had concluded that it is safe to consume. That's pretty awesome if you ask me. So since raspberry ketone is 100% natural, they are safe with no known side effects. But you should still follow all appropriate dosage recommendations. So optimal dosage really depends on many factors, but 500 milligrams twice daily is the most recommended. If 200 milligrams works for a certain individual, 500 milligrams will either work better or work just as good. So taking more than you need doesn't have any ill effects. That's awesome. The price difference between 200 milligrams and 500 milligrams is also very minimal. So for these reasons, 500 milligrams is suggested um, just to ensure that you get the best results possible. Now with all that said, there are some people who should not take the supplement. First, nobody under the age of 18 should take it. And in addition, pregnant women or women who are nursing should probably not take raspberry ketones. Lastly, if you have any sort of heart disease or have high blood pressure, raspberry ketones may not be for you. Please consult your doctor first. If you're interested in checking out raspberry ketones, click the image to the left to find them on Amazon or click the link in the description below.